April is Distracted Driving Awareness a Month, and across the country, roughly nine people a day lose their lives to distracted driving, a shocking number and very alarming statistic. Joining us today with advice on how to keep our minds on the road is Jillian Young with AAA Northeast. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, you know, first of all, it's not easy to hear those numbers. We were talking earlier when we, it, it's staggering really, isn't it? It is. It's a really alarming especially when you think about the fact that each one of those numbers is a is a person that's right. someone's parent someone's child someone's friend or family member I think it's really important to remember that when we look at those numbers right and you alluded to the fact before we went on here that so many of us as we go about our daily lives kind of lose sight of things we feel invincible at times and we need to be mindful of these facts don't we we do yes it can feel when you're in your car like like you're invincible and it's hard to remember that everyone else on the road is trying to get somewhere too and that's another human in their car and that's why it's so important to put the phone down when we're driving. Right, and the phone is just ubiquitous these days. We use it for everything. That is understood. I think we all realize that. However, when we're operating a motor vehicle, our minds really need to be focused on the task at hand, correct? That's correct. There are so many other distractions aside from just the cell phone. Texting is the one everyone thinks about, but eating, drinking, fixing your music, talking to your passengers. I have a young son. A lot of people have kids in their back seat. That can be a distraction too. And of course, lashing out at my fellow motorists. That's my favorite. <laughs> we can get frustrated yes, behind the it's, wheel. It's so easy to get frustrated, especially when you're sitting in any kind of traffic. And that's when it can be really tempting to grab for the phone because you feel like you're parked, and then, but and you're not. That's right. And the next thing you know, the light has changed. You're delaying somebody else. And then the potential for or some type of uh, you know, calamity becomes apparent. Absolutely, and AAA research has actually found that there's a hangover effect when you look at your phone. So even after you've put the phone down, for almost 30 seconds, you're still distracted. Your mind is still where it was yes. previously. So let's talk about some statistics here in terms of numbers, mm -hmm. uh, seconds. You know, apparently I was reading, according to AAA, when you're driving 55 miles per hour, just five seconds of looking down to read a text or an email is comparable to the, the length of a foot traversing the football yes. field blindfolded. blindfolded. I mean, that is beyond alarming. Right, I can't imagine getting in a vehicle, blindfolding myself and trying to drive that length. But that is really what we do when we look at our phones, even for just a few seconds at that at that speed. And we alluded to the fact that even when you're parked or sitting there at a red light or something, there's the tendency to kind of see what's happening on the phone. You think I have a few seconds here, but that can lead to something else. It can, and I think it's important to remember that even when you're stopped, your job when you're in the car and you're the driver is to to drive, not to answer emails or texts or anything like that. Definitely, and of course, this week is also, as it says here, Work Zone Safety Awareness Week, and since the state of Rhode Island is perpetually under construction, <laughs> this is something <laughs> from a roadways perspective that we really need to be mindful of, isn't it? It is, yeah, because obviously distracted driving can lead to veering off the road, and that's where our roadside assistance workers, our emergency responders, our construction workers, roadside assistants, that's where they all are so it's so important to remember that these folks are at work and their office is the side of the road can you imagine if we had vehicles speeding by us right now at 65 or 70 miles right per just hour? trying to do what it is we're doing just Go trying to do our job going about our yeah. day and what it is we do so in summation here Jillian the, the reality of this is it's on us to just put the phone down isn't it it is it's on us and tell your friends and family too just because you see someone else texting and driving doesn't mean it's okay call them out create that culture of safety and get everyone uh, driving safer. It really is going to be better for everyone and uh, safety is the name of the game and I would just like to point out before we wrap up, I've been a AAA member since 1998. Yay. That's the previous <laughs> century, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, you guys just do great work Thank and you. I am a proud member. And thanks for being with us because this really is an important topic. Absolutely, it is. Thank you for having me. You bet. If you would like to review this advice or get more information from our friends at AAA Northeast, just visit us right now at roadshow.com.